Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here and it is a beautiful sunshiny day and yeah, it's made me feel real cheerful. We've had sunshine for a few days now, cold but sunshiny and it really, really is nice. I've even been, been out in it a little bit today which is good isn't it? So today I am um, going to make a couple of toppers, you probably gathered with what's out in front of me. So um yeah i want to have them ready i have got a flower fairy postcard i will be doing a flower fairy journal again this year at least one and yeah i'm, I'm starting to think about summer as um as the sunshine is arriving and a victoria plum who is she's quite popular in the uk i don't know if um she's popular you know um, she's a, a character from a book obviously um from the the 80s I think I'll say the 80s it might have been the 90s could have been earlier I don't know but yeah I think I think around the 80s anyway even if it's the late 80s so all I've done she is from the book I'll like oh there's a solid tape on there all I've done is stuck it on a piece of craft card which was in my scrap box <laughs> it is only solid tape so we'll take it off or sticky tape whatever you call it so I, I have got my postcard and my Victoria Plum picture that I have stuck on some card and two pieces of um, the fabric that from the samples um, box at, what is it it's fabric what was it? it was like tied together like a book yeah samples book I guess um, that I got in the uh, in the summer from the car boot they fray quite well <laughs> as you can see I can't stop picking at them I like I do like the frayed edges the frayed be they fray better down the sides than the top and the bottom but yeah they will they will fray a little bit more i'm not going to put anything on to stop them to stop them fraying so i think that's the bit that will be stuck on the actual um journal cover all i want to do is put some bits of lace behind some bits of lace in front yeah just make them sort of pretty and happy um you know because they're they're doing all the work themselves really so what have i brought along to play with don't know how much you can see i brought some of my buttons love buttons and um, some of my fabric clusters that I've been making with my scraps that are, do not have buttons. So some I make clusters where I put two or three pieces together and you know and just stitch um, a button on them. These are actual fabric scraps all layered on top of each other. But I love that one because it's got the actual flower on it. Yep. So I can put buttons on them or not. Or I can put buttons um, somewhere else on them. I have got a couple of big pieces of lace. Oh here which I recently got at the charity shop and um, yeah I'm sending you some of this Tanya because it's wide to go in your frames you know <laughs> the um, picture frames the, the the frames from Nanine you might have to dye it or something or oh, send it on if you don't like the colour <laughs> um, I've got odd, my ordinary laces or you know bits and pieces of vintage laces some pink some creams Sort of a beige colour yeah a few bits and pieces and then I've got some of these um are they applicable oh, that's a needle I threaded in case I wanted to do my buttons nearly lost that appliques I think oh, that's a bit of vintage lace yeah so there's that that pink one which came from Tanya I think she still has those in her shop if you're after those they are gorgeous I put them on my last Alice in Wonderland um, book and they looked beautiful and you can, you know, if the pearl's too big for you in the middle, you can nip it out and, um, you know, put a flat gem or something in it. Yeah, beautiful. Um, you know, you get the idea. I'd like to use this. What made me think of this is because it's yellow and shiny, it's not it's not the, the sort of um, colour I use very often. It's a bit bright and, and blingy. I mean, I like bling, but but I thought with this yellow background, it might, it might be a nice one on there, might it? I know it'll hang, overhang, but... I could always cut it down a little bit more but yeah that might be a nice use of that um anyway you're showing what you've got denise yeah a few more laces here longer ones um just a little bit of bling <laughs> so i can't bring that entire box out you know angie sent me all that bling bless her yeah if i get it all out i'm just lost so i just grabbed a few pieces that may or may not be used and just a few words possible so a couple of fairy words journal believe follow your heart thankful yeah so maybe maybe a word on i don't know and then we'll say anything else i need i need to grab maybe a label i don't know um 
but I'm yeah I'm wanting to make it kind of lacy and pretty these two rather than the, the grungy effect so um, some lace sticking out the, the back would be nice I guess what I need to decide is do I want it out of this now let's measure because did I press start I did <laughs> yeah obviously I need I need the finished article to fit on a on my journal yeah I don't want to make it too much bigger to be honest that is 12 centimeters yeah I'll probably go to about 13 13 and a half on a cover but yeah you want it you know I want it with something shown round so I could put some lace around it this one's going to be bigger isn't it now I could cut it down um that one's 12 and a half shall I cut that one down or not might take a little bit off it and I'll have to actually I do this side because it's not very it hasn't frayed very straight so let's try and cut it straight down this side and fray it a bit more oops oh I'm using my Tim Holtz scissors goodness me Denise that'll blunt them yeah that's better does she fit now I can always trim her if she doesn't yep she's still got a bit rounder lovely yeah I thought about that it's a bit long but I thought about leaving it a bit at the bottom for maybe something like this and it'll have lace and well it might have this on it might it yeah maybe I'll have to cut a bit off that I could cut that piece off let me just have a try actually the small piece might be the better piece to use where are you attached oh yeah I see there Oh, so this was another, uh, I think it was car boot by this, if I remember rightly. Oh yeah, so maybe just that, maybe I'll just use it in smaller pieces and then it won't be quite so, yeah, maybe just that, we'll see. Right, which one should we start? Let's start on this one first. I won't be able to do them both together, right. So I've got a, a yellowy button. I do like this great big button as well. Um, and there's more pink in this than there is on that, so. I'm guessing all the colours would go really. I don't want one really big one though. Let's have the big pink one on here then. So maybe those three. I mean, it's oh, it's got that fat loop at the. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Let's have that one on here, and then we'll save these two for the the fairy three maybe, if I use them all. Right, let's move that out of the way. So. Um, what other colours do I should we go quite pinkish with this one then so we've got a piece of that oh now I could have sworn I turned that off bear with me <laughs> that's it I have to turn it off in two places otherwise yeah piece of that I want some cream some of that and some of that okay let's see Let's see where we're going then. This is a piece it wants using up. Not sure about the yellow and the pink together. The yellow probably needs to go with some cream, doesn't it? It's about building the lit the layers up really. Right, let me get me scissors and move these Tim Holtz ones. That's it. Yeah, doesn't really look anything with the, the bits of lace until you've you've built a few layers up. Maybe some of that underneath, do we think? Get that. I'm trying to cut it so that it looks ripped. Just because it's so hard to make lace look. Oh, it does rip a bit. Right, so I know it's much of a a muchness colour wise, but I mean that can go over the picture because it's like sheer and you can see through it. There's not much going on down there anyway. Um, I did quite like that one there though. So maybe you need to be up there. I look like the sunshine in the sky now. Yeah, I like those. I like those bits down there. What I didn't bring is any um, material because I didn't think I wanted coffee dyed on it. No, I've got this crocheted lace, doily. I was going to do a full slow stitch cover with that. Yeah. Don't cut it up just for a little bit, Denise. We've got this. 
So I'm going to put this inside, I think, with that bit hanging out. That's better, just thinking we don't perhaps need it all. Save a little bit for who knows what. Maybe putting the buttons on. It is going to be a lacy one, isn't it? Yeah, now because that's inside, I might want something over the edge anyway. And you're going there. I will start gluing in a minute. I just want to uh, make sure I know roughly what I'm gluing where. Um, are you close enough? I'll give you a better view. Yeah, I'm wondering about a little bit of this over the edge here. Right, I don't want too much over there because of, no, because we're going to end up hiding her, aren't we? This is quite, just a thin strip of that. Let's cut, cut some off and see. Oh. Take a bit off there. Not very chatty, am I? don't know that I've got much to tell you, to be honest. What's going on? Not a lot. Neil's day off. He's downstairs. And uh, I'll be joining him soon. He's playing in his shed again. His man's shed, <laughs> as always. Playing with his fishing gear, I think. Um, kind of want something across the top, but not to hide her. Right, where's my fabric? clusters. Don't, I think these are all going to be a little bit dark for this, the more the more kind of flower fairy right. Just want something to sew me. Oh you know it hides a hat you see. Sew me flat um my buttons on that I want to put on it. Should have brought some fabric Denise. So we're back to this again. Can I put a couple of buttons on that? Do we want buttons on that? We maybe don't want that and buttons. No. It is literally just <laughs> trial and error. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? All that go behind that. That's just, you know, something coming off the top as well. Right, I quite like that. I'm going to leave some bare spaces. Obviously this will have a word popped on it. It's a bit too big, isn't it? Is there a smaller one I can steal? Oops, mine's your needle again. Yellow. Yellow daisy, that isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Let's uh let's put that button on that daisy petal flower thing. <laughs> Just not the end going to be glued down but I want to stitch through it. Whoops. There are so many different ways to make toppers. I think last time I made toppers with you I did the grungy, um, what's that cardboard called? Corrugated cardboard. What on earth have I done? <laughs> Who knows but it doesn't want to go through. Obviously got a knot in it. Right, just cut it off. In my teeth. Oh. <laughs> right, pulling it worked. Yeah, where I gesso, you know, peeled the top of the corrugated card and gessoed. So um that's one way. Or you can just put lots of um pieces of paper collage, that's the word I'm looking for, that's enough. You know, you can uh, do lots of collage and then just put an image on the top. That was the worst sewing I've ever seen, Denise. Let's put that in there. But yeah, there are lots of different ways. Um, yeah, but I'm just feeling like lacy today. I think it's the sunshine and my happy mood. And that's quite nice, that's thankful, but I think it might be a bit big from there. I'll just trim it and see. I'm going to trim it right right down and um yeah I could have put some uh, you know like um 
I want to say dies. I've got dies on my mind, not dies. Yeah, I think I will. Let's get some fabric tack on the go. Um, oh, the word's completely gone now. I'm just looking at these lovely butterflies. That's why my mind's full of other things. Um, hmm. In there, yeah. What was I trying to think of? The whole thing's gone now. No, it was nothing to do with dies or die cuts or anything like that. So I'm going to stick the whole thing on this. Oh no, I'm not, am I? Because the pink is behind it. Oh yeah, that'll be all right though. No, it won't. Let's lift this up and get that pink stuck down. So I'm just uh, fabric tacking. I may well stitch around um, on my machine. I probably will because it will just add another layer of something. I know what I was thinking of. It was nothing to do with metal charms, you know, metal, uh, nothing to do with dyes. Metal charms and, um, you know, maybe a, a, a bulb pin with something dangling, a bead, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Beads, gems, we'll see. Um, I might do that when I use it though. I'm just going to make a, a kind of a basic-ish. I think that's enough on there, I think so. Especially if I'm going to stitch it. Over a bit, that's it. Oh, I'm a lot of cloth. Now when I showed you yesterday all my um, happy mail, I forgot to show you the stuff from Tanya that I left out. And Tanya sends me things all the time, bless her. She's a a good friend and um, but she sent me some flower fairy i'll show you while that's drying a little bit some flower fairy pieces which made me think oh it is it's flower fairy time um, these are from your creative studio she knows i'm a flower fairy fan aren't they gorgeous and i'm a ticket fan as well so yeah i was absolutely woohoo and um, they're nice they look nice you know when she shows things and i think oh i like that but when I actually get them in my hand, some of them, they're like, oh, they're really, you know, they're, they're not done justice on the, um, on film. She also sent me some pink. That might be glaring, hang on. And white and violet, but pink. She knows what a pink fan I am. What's that waxed thread? Do you remember me saying I was on a no spend? I'm trying not to buy anything, but when I do, I'm going to have some coloured wax thread. Oh, I don't need any now. And these are ace, aren't they, will they? Oh yeah, flower fairy stickers. And they're like sort of vintagey ones as well. They're not, um, you know, they're real brights. So I love that. And then those, look at that fairy door with a witch and a cat. Oh, there's one on the back. Oh, they must all have the fairy door on the back, aren't they? Gorgeous. I can put those in my fairy tin now. I've shown you them. I've got my fairy tin out with all my flower fairy stuff in. And yeah, I've had a nice morning going through thinking, oh yeah, I remember making that. I remember making that. What was going next? That, all that, that. Yeah, that one. Um, oh, we've got, a, we've got a glob going on. Lovely, thank you. Sort yourself out, Fabri-Tac. Yep, yeah, it'll soon be summer and the fabric tack will be exploding everywhere. We'll all be suffering with it. I know there's a lot there, but there's another layer. There's another layer going on, so it'll soak it up. And just put a few little blobs here. Nothing much. I can't remember what was going on it now anyway. It was that yellow thing, but then we moved it up there, so. Was there something else? I know this was going on here, wasn't it? I might be able to scrunch it up a little bit now as well. I'm going to put that lace on upside down, that pink lace. Oh. So let me know if you've got plans for a flower fairy um, journal. I know they're very popular these days. I, uh, I've got my eye out for a new flower fairy book because I've done them over the last two years and I've used the same the same book that I fell in love with both times. I could do with finding a new new one. Now I know the images are all 
like the vintage images so there aren't any new ones but um, one or two people who have bought the, the copyright to use some of the images yeah, can they can alter them a little bit I think so yeah be nice be nice if I could find a new one so that was going on there that was going up there was it this button I can't remember it would be nice on there though wouldn't it with something missing oh we was having the butterfly on here maybe we should have the butterfly that side then no I liked him there we could have the button on the edge there do you know what that's going to stop me stitching isn't it but so is that and that one's down so I should have that one under there oh I could under yes under yeah I'll, I'll decide about the stitching later on I could always just do a bit in the middle here can't put everything on it can I <laughs> I'd like to once I get started Okay, yeah, I like that button there. I just want some thread through it. Have I got anything that will go? No, I've got some. I could put some wax thread through. Oh, I've got some nice brown. Yeah. So, how do I want it? I want it tied on the top. So in one and onto a little cross there well that isn't a cross <laughs> what happened in you go it'll only be half a cross won't it if I tie it at the front but I'm going to good grief <laughs> that's it I'll tie and it will close the cross. That's it. And one more. Yes, I did waste quite a lot there, didn't I? And that's one of those mother of pearl buttons. It's a proper vintage. Lovely. It will just be stuck on there. So let's cut those little, little fine bits off. I was just looking at those labels from Tanya. I might put one of those on the front of there. We'll see. See if it goes. That's it. So let's just edge this a little. Because it's on an oldie worldy um what's that? Book plate, name plate one of those things book nameplate <laughs> oh come on are you feeling that way out as well where's my pin I saw it earlier dare I use this needle that I've been sewing with I know my pin's not far away but yeah this is twice in two days now it's bunged up so probably it's time I cleaned it I wonder if I'll remember when I stop filming. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh no, it's coming slowly. There we go. It's slightly too big, but I'm going to go with it. I might even end up with some more lace over it yet. Oh, hair in my face, excuse me. Um. It'd be nice with a bit of something over it. Don't know. Now I've got the that um, glittery, shiny, what's it called, like netting. But I think there's probably enough. When I've got that on, I think there's probably enough glitz going on there, don't you? Let's put this down. Oh, of course. If this, I'm thinking this will probably end up on a a hard book cover. You know, perhaps uh, reuse an old hard book cover and then it will be a, you know, a big cover a lot of the front of it. A big cover up, <laughs> if you know what I mean. If that makes sense. Yeah, I've got a bit of fabric tack on there. 
have to be careful because it's shiny. Oh, stomach crumbling. Not being particularly hungry today, which is not like me. I usually have a good appetite, but. So I'm not eating. I'm <laughs> not putting eating until I'm hungry, but obviously my stomach's not used to being empty. <laughs> it's having a bit of a moan. Love a vintage button. Vintage button and vintage lace. Oh, that's squeezed up through the holes. I'll leave it there. Um, was there anything else that's not glued in that I was putting in? Like I say, I can always, you know, bring the the colour of it down a bit when I actually put it on the book with something like that behind it. Sort of a coffee coloured lace. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, quite like that behind it actually. Poking out. It will depend very much on the size of the book. I might cut a piece off and just leave it attached to, you know, with a clip or something when it's dry. Put the lid on that. Right, just leave it attached to that. Yeah, like that. Okay, just put my lid on this and then we'll draw the flower fairy one in and see what we can do differently. So it's a you know it's a different um topic, although it's still a cartoony sort of picture. I've got full of your heart there, but I and we're gonna have believe petal. Don't know, let's see. Let's see what we go with it. So I'm thinking about putting a piece of, pity I haven't got green, but a piece of, should we go with white lace behind it now? What about white lace in front of it? No, it hides it too much. That's a shame, isn't it? We could put a big piece down there though. Do we want it lacy though? I don't know. I'm looking at this thinking this might be nice behind where that, um, you know, like I had the pink behind the other one. Let's try it. Sort of there. Yeah, I like that behind. So, um, don't particularly want white then. Where's that come from? Oh, those flower fairy thingies. Oh, is this lovely applique? Oh, that's nice. Yes, I like that. Quite, and this keeps, I don't know why it keeps showing itself to me, but I quite like it. It doesn't say flower fairy or anything like, but it says follow your heart. And actually, I quite like that on there. So, where's that lovely fabric? Quite nice. Mm hmm. I think that green's much too bright. What else have we got going on here? I don't want the pink one. Is that it? Yeah, we've got the antique one on the other one, haven't we? So, has that come off my microphone? No, it's a spare. <laughs> Um, this then. I wonder if I could cut into it. Well, I can cut into it. I wonder what it'll look like. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, it's, it's tough to cut that. I think it's upholstery lace. It is vintage. My sister gave me it when I first started. Uh, and that's nice going over the edge of it there like that. What do we think to that? I love that red button. Really like the red one. What can we put it on? What have we got? I'm wondering if, just let me grab my bag, if I've got a bow. Oh, the right colour. I don't have many bows, but I do have a few, and I think they're in here, I think. Bear with me. Um, ah. 
Oh, there we go. Now look at that one. I think that might be from Tanya as well. Would have been nice on there, that, wouldn't it? Yeah, they're not the sort of bows I was thinking of. <laughs> um, I was thinking one of these little things, but they're all pink by the looks of it. I thought I had some that I'd tied somewhere, some cream, you know, um, not cream, coffee dyed. No, they're all pink. Oh, we've got some nice green flowers though. You're not going to go in a green flower, are you? Oops. I've got glue all over my hands. It's making everything stick to me. I've got the ones that I made. I don't think that's quite the right green. This is, oh, that's a nicer. No. Sorry. Oh, there's that. Again, that's more sparkly. Would have gone nice on there, so no. No. I can't believe I haven't got any material with me. Never mind. So, I really want this button on though. Let's just put it on a piece of lace then, can't we? Put it on another piece of that. Put it on the edge like a a tab. Is that the flower stayed out? Yes. <laughs> um what do I think? Let's take it away and see if we're missing it. I do quite like it because it's it just reminds me of the apples and yeah, let's let's sew it on or tie it on. Now I've got some red wax thread. I wonder if that would be too much or add. I mean it's only a tiny little tie, isn't it? I could even do it through there maybe. Let's sew in. Sew in with my fingers and no needle. Well that's good, I think. Yeah, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I can, <laughs> can barely see what I'm doing myself. And that's it. So I'm just passing it through the lace at the back and then I'm passing it through the button. So that both pieces, there we go, come out at the front. And I'm just going to tie two knots and trim it. I haven't stuck anything down yet, have I? No. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that will that will do me. So all I've got to do is remember where everything is. It's not too complicated. This one look didn't have much of that showing, did I? I hate wasting the lace by having it all hidden underneath. We'll make it a bit wider if it's hanging off the book. It's only lace. And which way does it go? That way or that way? That way, I think. It's good to make um, toppers all together because I kind of lose my lose my flow. I could now go on, you know, and make four or five or six similar but different. I just haven't got the time at the minute. Don't want to ignore Neil while he's on his five days off. Um, what can I press you down with? Don't want any more glue on me. Just wondering if I need another layer under there. What's going on the top? Oh, it's very wide that now. Don't want it off that far. Sorry. <laughs> Bear with. Come over a bit more. It did look a bit too wide. I'll just maybe should have trimmed it. Too late now because it's covered in glue. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go a bit further in. I don't need to press it really, do I? Because this is going to hold it in place. Now I think I still have four of these flower fairy cards left. Oh, maybe I don't. I was going to say my Etsy shop. I don't know. I might not have. They might have all gone. I do know that Tanya had them as well as me, so she may have them in her shop, who is Tass Treasure. And the link to her Etsy shop is in 
well it's in her LinkedIn link tree which is in my description <laughs> or you can just look Tatty Treasure up on let's see what was going at the top that one wasn't it and that one was going underneath why aren't I leaving my glue up the right down well it's blobby enough that's probably why oh I was going to say that's upside down but it's got to go that way oh no it wasn't upside down that's the way I had it I've now turned it around the other way <laughs> Eey, dear. I think I don't know I can't remember that's why people take pictures on the phone isn't it and then they can see see what they've got going on when they take it apart oh fine that was a bit further up there wasn't it yeah I think I'll be able to stitch this side of this one and hold it all down on the machine yep further up that's it because this let's just go in there I've made thousands of these fabric um, what are they called yes clusters I think I thought I think it was Bonnie and Clive who I followed and she literally just made string after string after string of them you know out of a sewing machine it's a very thera, thera, with an F therapeutic <laughs> a very therapeutic thing to do is that why I'm having it yep yeah think so just wondering if that wants something else on there the thing with the topper is you can really go to town because the pages don't have to shut do they sounds like you had an air bubble in there follow your heart absolutely and I'm not going to glue all that lace down just the bit behind the button and leave the rest Floppy, floppy, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Frilly. Do I want something on there? Mm, let's just look at those labels. I don't, I'm not sure that the. No. No. No, I think I'll call it. Um, or is there any bling? Do we want any bling on this? I mean, we are quite shiny, aren't we? This one's very blingy. Um, we've got a little bit of gold thread. Can you see it in there? And that bl that button is quite shiny. Oh, now I haven't used bling for ages. Now that's it's not everybody I know, but it's blingy and I like it. The other thing I've got is a flat back pearls. I just like that. Now I've had it on there. Kind of shows up the red here, and there's too much going on. Does it matter? let's put it down wowzer <laughs> now when I get these out again I'll either love them or think what on earth are you doing that is very shiny <laughs> like I say some people will love them and some people it really won't be their thing I understand that I will be doing some grungy ones soon so if browns and grunges are your thing that will be more your yeah i think i was just in a happy summery cheerful blingy mood and that's what that's what i created <laughs> so thank you so much for spending the day with me while i had fun and played played with all those pretties um yeah i'm wondering if i might do a couple of grungy ones tomorrow i'll see anyway i don't know what don't know what i've got planned for tomorrow we'll wait and see it just would be nice to have quite a few ready to go because i've got a few um signatures ready to go so I don't know, might make some covers tomorrow, might make some more cover toppers. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.